marriage is not a bed of roses just delete the picture you have in your mind about marriage i'm gonna say it no matter how well you think you understand what marriage is it's not seen as being into the marriage is totally different from what you think it is i noticed that there were a lot of lies there were a lot of deceit there were a lot of pretense i'm not saying that a woman should take care of her own bill i get to find out that i was receiving more gifts i was receiving more allowance i was receiving the good treats the respect i learned my lesson hey my loves welcome back to my channel if today is your first time coming across this channel seeing this face for the first time i am Jex. i am nigerian married to italian and based here in italy i create lifestyle relationship and vlog i live my life as an example on this channel i would say please hit the subscribe button to stay connected with us as well as your post notification to get notified whenever we post a new video and if you're a returning subscriber you already know thank you all for always coming back on this channel i do not take it for granted i so so much love you all thank you all for coming back and supporting this girl so let's dive to today's video so on today's video we will be talking about a lot of things not just marriage if you're someone who is aspiring to get married or to be in a serious relationship or relationship generally i feel that this video is for you go nowhere because this video is gonna be a life story last time i did a life life story on this channel you all liked it about someone that the best friend took the fiance so today i came with an interesting one there will be a lot of lessons to be learned on this story there will be a lot of regrets there will be a lot of eye-opening there will be a lot of things so it's gonna be so interesting if that is what you're looking for get your popcorn get your drink i have my wine here i wanted this video to be like a chit chat like storytelling i don't want it to be like influencing kind of or telling you all what to do point i want it to be friendly in a friendly way so that is what we're gonna be doing today so let's dive into the video the person that shared the story with me actually watched that video she's not a content creator but however she's on instagram but she asked for her identity to be remain unknown so it's gonna be anonymous but in her voice i'm gonna be sharing the story but at the end of the day or two i want you guys to put her in prayer and i just in total i just want god's will to be done because sometimes somehow is not only prayer i just want god's will what is best for her to happen so i feel bad that this story is about interracial couple whose marriage is at the edge of breaking which is at the edge of divorce and i feel so bad that i am sharing the story like i said let's god's will be done at the end of the day and i'm not supposed to share the story now i would have waited a long time but this happened like last year and it's almost like six months now i have not met this person in real life but however we've had like a great connection online we have been talking online for quite some time and that she shared with me that she wants to end her marriage with her husband so after listening to a lot of things i tried to know to find out because she also seek for advice which 
I found interesting because people reaching out to me, not that I know too much, not that I'm a perfect person for relationship. I mean, I'm also new to marriage, but by the grace of God for giving me the wisdom and understanding to handle so many things, I just thank God for people believing in me. So let's dive to it. I listened to her. I'm not going to be saying everything in particular, how she said it, but at the end of the day, I'm just going to say the few things I heard from her and what I think might be the problem because I also told her. So she shared her problem, her struggles. They've been married for three years. They were in long distance relationships. They met just same way I met my husband, but on another dating site, not the uh, same dating site I met my husband too. They have been married for three years and without kids anyway, but uh, they want to call it a divorce soon which i'm not so happy about it i'm not gonna channel my blame on her only her or just the man she met this man on the dating side this guy had told her a lot of things that he is not and the girl the lady told this man a lot of things that she is not at the end of the day because they are in long distance they got married the guy came the man came they got married and they closed the distance and they are living in europe so things are not basically what it is because this guy this man said that he had a house of his own before getting married and which is not true he is living in apartments, paying, paying rent every month. And also, not just that, this girl had lied that she had uh, certain things for going on for herself. So they have been struggling for the past three years. They have been fighting to survive, fighting to eat. And according to her, she is doing way much better in Uganda than how she is doing right now because it's like square one before marriage everything was okay before marriage things were moving very well things were okay but after marriage is difficult to even eat so what is the need of being in marriage they argue all the time they fight although there is no physical assault but there have been a lot of verbal abuse between them. So after listening to what she told me, I noticed that from the root of the marriage, the foundation is not strong. And this is one of the things I tell you people. I did it in one of my video. When the foundation of a thing is not strong, whatever you are laying is gonna scatter I noticed that the lies, there were a lot of lies, there were a lot of deceit, there were a lot of pretense, there were a lot of expectations. Lie is a lie. I don't want because I'm talking with you and then I have to side you. The mistake came from two people. And so I have to be honest and I have to be transparent with you in order to give you solution of what you're seeking for because i believe that if you if you didn't believe in me you wouldn't have shared your story with me and you wouldn't have seek for advice so i told you my honest opinion and i am telling you guys now so if you meet a guy on dating site and you don't have anything going on for yourself please tell the guy you met on dating site that you don't do anything if you are a cleaner, tell this man you are a cleaner. Don't pretend to be what you're not. Don't pretend that you have a certain amount in your bank account and you don't have nothing. Don't pretend that you have a business of your own and you have nothing, please, for some reason. Lay a good foundation, okay? Do not lie about who you're not. Don't come with a fake identity. So, 
Both of them lied to each other. The man lied only for the girl to come to Europe just to see that he pays rent every month. He does not have his house. He does not even own a car. And believe me, if you're in Europe, you will know how difficult it is if you don't own your own car. But I'm not going into that. So the stress and the expectation of what she had in mind before coming to Europe is not there. She came and she felt disappointed. That is one. Another thing I want to touch on is the aspect of expectation. Expectation and reality is two different things. I'm sorry, but this is the truth. Let me tell you all. What I expected in Nigeria, what I had in my mind, how I pictured this whole marriage, to be honest, is not what it is. It's not what I saw. But how did I do it? Let me tell you a story. The media has been feeding us wrongly. Everybody wants good things. Nobody wants to suffer. But again, what they don't tell you is that a lot of people work for that thing and a lot of people don't have it the way it seems to. She made mention of, she see a lot of interracial couples on Instagram and on Facebook, they are doing things together. But when it comes to hers, it's different. The worst is for you to compare your life to Instagram. There are a lot of people who pass difficulties behind closed doors, but they don't share it on Instagram. And not everything you see on media, that is true. Don't be the person that will watch social media and be like, oh, I want to be like this person. I want to deal with this person. Listen, you will give yourself high blood pressure. Don't do it. Do not use it to compare your marriage. Appreciate what you have. And don't believe that everything you see on the net are true. It's not true. A lot of them, you are living better life than them. I think I've dwelled enough on this Instagram online thing. Now, let's talk on the last topic, which is the issue of money. A guy not giving you money. There's this mindset that we have an unusual entitlement that we believe we have, which is being entitled to our man's money. Your man's money is not your money. I came from a country whereby you are in a relationship, automatically the man have to do everything for you. Wake up to that dream. Now, I'm not saying that a woman should take care of her own bill, but again, I'm not saying that a man should take 100% of your bill. But what I'm saying is that wake up from the dream that a man have to do the whole thing for you. You might be lucky to have a man that have the cash. Maybe the one you will meet is the one that does not have, but willing to work towards it. You have to understand this. You have to understand that it's not what a man have, but how he's willing to support you. You know why it's good to be with a man that shares the little he has? because he will give you when the big one comes. There are a lot of people who are deceitful also, who will tell you, I cannot be with a man if he doesn't give me this, if he doesn't, it's not true. Let me tell you all a story. Before I met my husband, I was in a uh, one relationship like that, before my husband. And there was this girl that told me, um, how much do you receive from your guy back then? and before the relationship ended and i said a certain amount and she was like mm, i cannot be with any man if he doesn't if what he's giving me is not 100k every month and i was thinking battling with myself in as much as the guy was doing everything for me he was paying rent he was doing this doing that i appreciated but because of the words the girl spoke she already planted seed in me without knowing and I was thinking, oh, so why is this guy not giving me 100k every month as an allowance, as girlfriend, mind you? A uh, long story short, the relationship ended and she had me thinking she do have it like that. I get to find out that I was receiving more gifts. I was receiving more allowance. I was receiving the good treats, the respect. 
I learned my lesson. A lot of people, a lot of girls would, could go extra mile to spend their own money. A lot of people would talk you out of that precious relationship you are just to make sure you're not happy. Appreciate what you have. Be willing to work together. And again, I'm not putting pressure on my husband. There are some things even my husband will say, let's do this. I say, no, baby, this is not the right time. Let's leave the money. The right time will come. I pray you find peace in your marriage. And I pray you find time to think and reflect on what to do. Learn how to manage every situation in a particular time. Look for something to do, to support. At least your own money, to know that my own is my own. Our husband is ours. I think that will bring peace. So that is it, my dear. For those that are in a relationship, for those searching, know what you're searching for. If you're looking for money, again, I don't know if this video is for you. But if you're looking for genuine love, perfect family, like people have it, this video is for you. Know that everything has time in life. Today is not the right time for it does not mean it will not happen. That you don't have this thing today does not mean it will not happen. Know how to balance media life and real life so you can have a happy life for you, for yourself. And again, don't believe anything you see. Learn how to work on your marriage relationship, on yourself in general, to be able to balance this life. So that is it, my love. If you enjoyed this video and if you want more real life stories, please leave the comment section. And please do not forget to give this video a like. Comment below what you think. Subscribe if you haven't done that. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye. Ciao.